Well, once again, I have a bunch of rubbish set up on my table, and uh, today we have a Loom Energy IB107-01 ballast. We're now going to place some various resistances from pin 6, which is the 0 to 10 volt output on the ballast. It reads about 14 and a half volts to pin 2, which is ground and is used for the 0 to 10 volt dimming. We'll put a 10k ohm resistor across these leads. And the light dims. And the light comes back on. Here's a 1k ohm resistance. And the light dims. And the light comes back up. And finally, a 100 ohm resistance drops it enough to turn the light out. Next we're going to examine a Mark 7 dimming ballast by Phillips. This is a 0 to 10 volt dimming ballast. Here's your plus 10, here's your 0. In this case the output from the ballast really is 10 volts across here. If I place a 10k ohm resistance across it, it dims down significantly. If I place a 1k ohm resistance across it, it dims down even more significantly. And if I place a 100 ohm resistance across it, it dims down about the same. In fact, shorting the leads simply causes it to dim down.